Hey guys, what's up? It's me, John, from JFM Development. Today I'm bringing you a different kind of video. I'm bringing you a video on what an OTG cable is. If you want to look close up, basically it's a connector with a female USB to a micro USB end. And what that does is it connects to the bottom of most Android devices <coughs> and allows you to connect peripherals to it. And the reason I'm making this video is because I've noticed a lot of reviews for the Galaxy S7 Edge. And yes, I pre-ordered it, and a lot of people on T-Mobile are getting it early, but for some reason, it's taken them forever and a day for me to get mine. It's still being processed. But check it out. I know it's not relevant, but I already have the case in the... Uh, micro SD card on deck waiting for that to arrive so I will be doing more videos on that once it does arrive but so anyways these videos on YouTube I've noticed they've uh, all the new Galaxy S7's are coming with uh, uh, what they're calling a USB connector which what it is is it's an OTG cable but it's an OTG adapter and it's white and it comes with all the new Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge and Samsung is saying, hey, this is so you can transfer your data from your old device to your newer de device, which is true. That is one of the functions of it, but that is not the only function of it. And I'm going to show you a lot more cool things on what you can do with it. <clears throat> okay, so now right here we're in the device, okay? First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can connect, uh, let's say for the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect a USB flash drive. So what you do is you get your flash drive, you know, normal flash drive. I mean, this one's meant for Android, but it can be any one. You take it, the female part, obviously, and you put it in like that. Then you take the other end, make sure your phone's on. Okay. Unlock it. And then put the cable in. And I have ES File Explorer already on it, or it'll open up the stock app, and it will open the USB flash drive so you can get all your information from it. This is the stock one, so it, if you're just getting it out of the box and you don't have ES File Explorer, this is what will pop up. And this is all the files and stuff that are in my flash drive. Pretty cool, right? I guess not a lot of people know about that, but now they do. All you need is this cheap little cable, or if you get in the new S7, it comes with it. And this cable is like a couple bucks on Amazon. No big deal, right? Okay. So that's one of the functions. The other function is, say you have a mouse, right? You take it, connect it, like you would any other USB device. And now you got a mouse. See it? Pretty cool, right? And you can select anything. So I'll say Oculus. Now I'm in the store. You can even use the scroll wheel and go back. And then all you have to do is right click and you can go back to where you were. Um, say you want Facebook. There you go. Facebook. Right click back. New egg. Get into the app right click back so yep Android has built-in mice capability on to the next one keyboard this might come in handy for a lot of reasons I mean you might be needing to type out a big email or something and or whatever might make you need to have a whole full-size keyboard at whim. Or if you just get sick and tired of touching on, uh, typing on the touchscreen. 
So again, connect it like any other USB drive. Go into the file thing. Want to type? That's me typing on the keyboard. Okay. You type anything you want. So that's another thing. Built-in keyboard. So basically, if you guys haven't got this already, there are a lot of different USB and peripheral devices that can actually be used with Android. So no to all your people who are like baffled by it and like, oh, the S7 has this thing, it's new. It's not new. I've been using it since uh, the 2012, the original Nexus 7 is when I first started using the tech. I mean, it's probably been out even longer than that. Um, you can do uh, game controllers, certain game controllers. The certain ones you do need a special app to map it. Certain ones you don't. Now here's a new one that I even just figured out. Because who would have thought? Microphone. This is a blue snowball mic. And, you know, I've been getting a lot into making videos, as, obviously, as you can tell. So I was looking at just how much I could push an Android phone and how I could use it for like a portable video production machine, right? Cameras are getting better, all that. Well, I was like, well, hey, I know you can hook up, you know, certain lav mics and mics like shotgun mics like this. I was like, well, hey, can you actually put a, like a podcaster mic, like a real desktop mic with an OTG cable? Little did I find out it's possible. So, again, open, unlock your device, make sure it's on. All right, plug in the mic. Notice the red light has power to it. I'm going to say a little something and we can test it out. So, and this is the best part too. It works with the stock Samsung app. So, we're in the Samsung voice recorder now. You ready? Here we go. Hello, I am a podcaster testing out my blue snowball mic. You ready? Hello, I am a podcaster testing out my blue snowball mic. So there you have it, guys. There is a lot of different things you can do with this OTG cable. It's nothing new, but it is awesome that is coming with the new Galaxy S7. I am definitely going to be able to get a lot of use out of it. It's smaller. It's just an adapter about, you know, just a little bit. Just a little small adapter. Be a lot more portable. And it's nice that they are starting to bring it into the mainstream so to show a lot of different people that you can do a lot more things than what you would have thought with your phone. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to this video. I hope to see you guys again soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I have a couple more great videos up here if you guys want to check them out. Or if you want to keep up to date with all my greatest and latest videos, hit that subscribe button right down below.